Welcome to another episode of Burst Sky TV. I know it's been a while. Um, I actually stopped playing Dungeon Quest sometime around September 2019. Started playing a little bit of Warzone and a couple other games. Um, but for the most part, I have been back for about a week and a half now. So, you know, when I left here, I was about 153. So I would have been like 180 or, you know, somewhere around that range. But due to not playing, you know, I'm here. But still, you know, I made the cut. So let's get into this. Um, basically came back a week and a half ago because I heard about the new map. Got a couple alerts from uh, Discord, decided to jump back on. Um, I'm a little bit late, so I know there's other people who have posted doing their solos. So what I'm going to do here, what uh, basically, because I haven't seen anyone do kind of like a talk through to really explain certain things. Um, so the purpose of this video is mainly going to be to show you that you can solo um, make a couple mistakes, die a couple times. I'm purposely not going to try to do this perfectly. I have been able to uh, do the Nightmare Hardcore and not get hit and be able to successfully do it, but it wasn't 100%. So um, once again, this this is not a video to show you, you know, I'm the Dodge King or anything like that right now. It's basically to show people um, that you can complete this with making quite a few mistakes. What you are going to need, though, is enough HP. I recommend 65 million plus. Uh, I mean, if you can do more, then better. Um, but also, you would need to be able to output 8.5 trillion damage, at least 8.4 trillion damage. You can do it with less damage than that, but you're going to come close on time. So that's just my recommendation to be able to do this, die a couple times, get hit plenty of times, and still be able to be successful so you can get your gear. Because, you know, there's a lot of people who's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's never a waste because you're always getting XP. But it kind of is a waste, you know, if you're not getting the gear because that's another 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever um, that it's going to take for you to complete this just to get some gear that probably isn't going to help you. Because it's not like it's dropping legendaries and purples every round, you know. So the more uh, successful completions, the better. All right. So what I'm running right now, I've been uh, able to solo this with the other gear that I had. I actually sold it so I can max this new gear that I received. So basically, I was given this by a good friend when I came back. Um, I had like a 74 chest plate and a 62 or 63 uh, weapon, but um, I actually got these two weapons in doing solos. So you don't have to wait and beg people to group up with you. Just follow this tutorial. You can solo this and still get some really decent gear because I got this and this just doing solos. This is the only item that I have that I had pre-doing the solos or whatever. So um, I'm actually using a PC. When you're using the Xbox, um, you have like three visions or whatever that it gives you, well, three views by clicking the right thumbstick. Um, so what I recommend is if you're not on PC and you are using an Xbox, take your mouse from your PC, the USB one, and plug it up to your Xbox. It will recognize it. Use the scroll wheel to scroll out. It'll give you a better view so you're able to dodge better. That's, you know, just something that you can do on every map, not just this one. All right, so let's get into it. I'm a warrior, of course, and I'm using the Inner Rage paired with the Lava Barrage. This is good, too. The Blade Fall is good, too. But the reason why I'm using the Lava Barrage is because it gives you distance from the boss. The ads, you know, I'm not really worried about them, but the boss, you need that nice little gap in between you and the boss. So let me just make sure this is off and let's get started. Um, like I said, there's other people who have done this, but I'm just going to show you the method that I use. And I'm showing you that if you do die, you do get hit, you do have time to still complete this alone. Don't waste your time in the lobby, 50, you know, minutes or whatever, one game that might not even be successful when you can do this yourself. Yeah. 
As you can see, I got hit. No biggie. Alright, I'm just gonna hit these guys and then we can be on our way. Alright, so this first boss is really easy. Um, we still have plenty of time on the clock. So we'll just take out a little time to equip a staff and so we can heal up. A goal that you want to try to achieve is always get as close to the next phase as possible. And that'll save you a lot of time. So this first boss, he's the easiest to me. That's just my opinion. All he's going to do is just do those two or three attacks and then have that little orb generate on the side. Um, typically, I don't bother with it because I can dodge him or whatever, but you can just take him out when they're close enough to where you can couple your attack to hit him as well. Like this one here, I'll be able to hit him and take this thing out, the Syrian orb. That way we don't have to worry about dodging it. But it's no big deal if you can't. He's really simple. Just keep running around. You won't get hit by it. Alright, now we're done with that guy. So, same method here. Let's hit these guys once. And you can hit these guys. And you're going to run through these guys and hit them all together. And you're going to run through them again. That way we can hit all of them at once. You know, when you're doing them one at a time, that's fine. But if you can group them all together and save, you know, one or two attacks, that's going to really help in the time. Want to try to hit all of them as much as possible while they're together. Alright, so now we're at the second boss. Um, I would say he's about as, as difficult as the other boss, the last boss. But the main thing what you don't want to do, you don't want to get it overwhelmed by... The geysers that pop up so you want to plug those up so basically you're going to run in here and attack him before he starts his attack and then after that when we're allowed to give one of the boulders you'll plug up the other hole well the geyser or whatever and again if you get hit and you die it, it's no big deal Alright, so we want to go plug up that hole. Alright, I just got hit. It's no big deal. Our main focus is really just to plug up those holes, those geysers or whatever. Because, you know, that'll make it crazy. And then, you know, you'll be dying when you spawn back. You'll probably die before you even get a hit or before you're even able to get a boulder. So we'll dodge that. Now we'll get an attack in. Dodge that. He's going to be preparing to unleash a new geyser after this attack. So, attack him. Basically, another good thing is, is just to get a boulder as soon as they become available. Just so you already have one on hand. Alright, so we're going to take a second to heal up. Like I said, you got plenty of time, you know. I didn't really die on here much, but um, if you do die, you still have plenty of time to get this done. So normally people would stand, you know, they'll, they'll attack these guys right here and then they'll stand right here and they'll get stuck and then they'll just, you know, waste their three shots there. 
Um, I don't like to waste that time there. So what I do is is I attack them, run past them, and run down to these guys. That way I can hit all of them together and save me some time. Because, you know, I'm, I'm doing this while I'm describing it to you guys. But when you're doing this, you're not going to have time to... Uh, you know, sit there and wait. So the more time you have, the better. Okay, I actually did that wrong. Because I missed this guy right here. So now i got to get an extra shot off him. But you get the drift. And once again, you know, the purpose of this solo is to show you that you can make mistakes. Still have plenty of time to do this. Just like there. I knew that was going to happen, but, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to show you no need to panic. You'll still be able to get this done with time remaining. So we didn't do that too perfect there, but once again, just trying to show you, you can still have plenty of time. Because I think it's somewhere around uh, two minutes you need for the boss. With eight thousand, with eight trillion hit points or whatever to get it done, and maybe die like once or twice. So with this time that we have, five minutes, I'll be done with these ads by close to four. And so that's more than enough time to deal with the boss at the end, even if I die, you know, two or three times or whatever. Because it's it's the pits waiting for everybody. You know, there's been times that you know you wait play with a friend or a group of people and 30 minutes go by before you even start it. You know, they're trying to collect the healers, they're trying to get enough DPS, you know, somebody wants to go and get something to snack on, whatever. And then, you know, you get into this game another 10 minutes and you don't even win the map. Everybody dies, you run out of time, and all you're left with is the XP and not the uh, the gear. And you want to do this for the XP and for the gear. Because, you know, the chances of you getting something really good is very slim. So this guy is going to do another X, X attack. Um, you're going to want to go here if you got this on you. All right, I couldn't dodge that. It was in between that. Another X attack. And then he's going to do his major attack here. I'm just going to dodge all of that. Get this attack off here. One X, and he's going to do another one. X number two. I'm probably going to die here, but I want to get this attack off on it. Once again, I'm just going to show you that, you know, you can die and still have plenty of time to do this. As long as you're doing enough damage, you're good. All right, one X, now he's gonna do another one. Just go sideways on him. Well, I think I actually missed, missed that. One X, and then the second X, and then his major attack. Just learn the mechanics and it's simple, you know? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to dodge every shot. You just have to learn the mechanics and get it done. Let's see if we got enough time before I die. Yep. And there you have it. It's not any great gear, but we completed it. Good luck.